Daryl in for real me today is April 12th, 2022, and I'm putting together my Ron 25 tower. Got a hinge plate at the bottom, uh, electric winch, 5,000 pound, and some extra braces. Um, battery run, 12 volt. So it's run 25, I said, it's uh, 52 feet to the top with a uh, Mosley uh, Junior, weighs about 25 pounds. And I had to do some limb work. And I may get a little snag. That grapevine or vine is wrapped around. I couldn't pull it down. So we'll see in a few minutes. And a dual band, uh, four element VHF quad. I had 11 element and took it down. And I modified this one to put a, a two feed lines instead of one that was on it and then reteamed it. And I got a duplexer there. So, again, Mosley Jr. I put a lightweight motor, it turns it fine. I've got the four and four, but this is fine. So, uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to uh, pull it up. And I didn't mention about the, the house bracket. It's uh, right at 20 feet, uh, two two by sixes, and four five eighths ready rod, threaded rod. There's uh, uh, th two layers of two by sixes on the inside of additional supports through the trusses and uh, two cables pulling back about 15 feet down to the truss frame. It's pretty stout so far. Daryl in for with me, April 12, 2022. I'm about to uh, attempt the tower. I've tested it. 52 feet on a house bracket and a pulley and uh, Mosley A3 and a small four element quad VHF. So let's get it going in the right direction. And I need to check the limb here in a few minutes. Maybe it won't get tangled up. Come on, sneak by. Uh-oh. I had to untangle the limb. Oh, that's uh... And I've got a tag line on it here in just a minute. I'm going to have to stop it so it's going to get real loose. Ooh, right in the sun. Let me stop it. Okay, I had to stop it to work with the other hand for the tag line. So uh, there it is, 52 feet. So I had one hand on the, remo on the remote switch and the other hand on a little black tag line. I couldn't do both. So, a little bit more work to do. So, uh, there's the winch. That's, that's pretty snug. That's holding it good for now. I'll put the clamps on it shortly. It's the next morning, and I've kind of cleaned up and tidied up some stuff. Got the tower all in check. And I've uh, got the U-bolts uh, at the mounting bracket up there. And uh, I think I said 5 8 threaded rod. It's actually 3 quarters uh, going through the double 2 by 6s And then in the house, in the trusses, 2 by 6s behind two layers of trusses and um, cable pulling back down, as I said. So here's the a little closer set up I got to do some more grounding set up but uh, let me zoom in uh, that's the bracket that's about a foot and a half in the ground in concrete with several pieces welded to it and a little anchor just to help stabilize it 
just in case. Antelopes and polyphasers I got to work on. Um, one thing I, I debated whether the guy wire or not is about 32 feet up, so I, I've got them or had them. So I'm going to go back and add them. Uh, one thing, my pull point on the house bracket is about 19, 20 feet. And the pull point on the tower is right at 45. So uh, I'm glad that went well. Oh, sorry about that. And uh, here's the antenna up there. And uh, let's see. Uh, all band doublet. I got one end still down. I got to trim the trees. So I'm glad it's up. In four women.